Okay, so first off, I understand that this is going to be a very controversial video to make right now, considering Lost Ark is maybe the biggest game in the world at the moment, or at least one of the biggest games in the world right now, with 1.3 million players concurrently playing over the last couple days. But at a minimum, I figured that I would give my input on Lost Ark so that I have something at least to refer to when people ask me why I'm not playing, which considering Lost Ark's immense success right now, happens around 10,000 times a day. Ultimately, I think a lot of my criticisms of Lost Ark are rooted in problems I have with a lot of modern MMOs in general, World of Warcraft, Shadowlands, Final Fantasy XIV, and many others, and aren't necessarily even exclusive only to Lost Ark. But Lost Ark is the hot topic right now, and everyone's talking about it, so I'll use Lost Ark as a template to sort of explain some of the frustrations I'm having right now. So with that being said, let's just jump right into it. First off, Leveling. To me, leveling in Lost Ark came across as being extremely, very, very, very monotonous and unrewarding as a process in its entirety. That doesn't leave much room for free thought or a plurality of approaches. Meaning, you talk to this guy, you talk to that guy, you read some dialogue, you have a cutscene, you talk to this other guy, you talk to that guy again, repeat over and over and over again, with maybe some combat sprinkled in along the way, with no real fear of death or repercussions or messing up or making mistakes. It's a very safe, coddled, <sighs> conveyor belt type of experience. Now, during the leveling process, you're definitely doing things, you're going here, you're going there, you're doing stuff, but man, is it all really, really underwhelming and dissatisfying. I think the Lost Ark leveling experience is really, really comparable to the Final Fantasy XIV leveling process, only that Lost Ark doesn't have an interesting and engaging story that goes along with it. So in other words, Lost Ark has all of the negatives of Final Fantasy XIV leveling and none of the positives. But that being said, as I understand it, the leveling process in Lost Ark only takes maybe 25, 30 hours if it's your first time as it is mine. So ultimately it's not the end of the world if the leveling process isn't the most thrilling and is a bit uh, boring. But the problem is that it seems is that the end game content revolves a lot around completing daily chores on as many characters as you possibly can uh, to acquire as many resources as you possibly can that you then funnel onto your main character to advance as fast as possible. So this means that if you end up taking Lost Ark Endgame seriously and you actually want to engage in the top level of Lost Ark gameplay, you will likely have to juggle a bunch of daily objectives across multiple characters to remain competitive and advance and be as successful as you possibly can. Alternatively, you can just effectively skip this entire process by swiping your credit card a couple times, but you can't help but feel like the entire process is intentionally designed to bait out as much money as the game possibly can by intentionally making the entire process as boring and tedious as possible. Now, another big problem I have with Lost Ark is I'll summarize it as the world as a whole. I have a big problem with the Lost Ark world, I guess, which is effectively a series of isolated, semi-instanced uh, corridors or very small zones, which are extremely shallow in regards of sense of world exploration or rewarding uh, sort of going off the beaten path and exploring at your own pace. Generally, you see everything that the game wants you to see because outside of the world content that is explicitly placed in front of you by doing your sort of main story quests or a couple side quests, there just doesn't seem to be much there. There's no reason to really deviate off of that formula. In regards to most modern MMOs, and definitely Lost Ark in this case specifically, it seems like the idea of spawning into a fantasy world for the first time and having the freedom to explore and discover things and being rewarded for your exploration uh, without being led around by a main story questline is seems like some sort of occult, you know, long forgotten mystery game design philosophy. Which is really weird because exploration and discovery and the sense of, you know, wonder that these uh, uh, MMOs used to have, like in World of Warcraft and RuneScape back in the day, these used to be staples of the MMO genre that don't really seem to be there these days. It seems like games like Lost Ark are really, really deviating from that, and it makes the game feel very shallow and very soulless as far as the sense of immersion goes, which is uh, really strange because this... Uh, sense of exploration and discovery is a formula or a gameplay design philosophy that has been really successfully adopted by games of other genres lately, like uh, The Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wind, or the upcoming Elden Ring, which are these huge, expansive open world games that are not even MMOs and that have, 
you know, it seems like everyone kind of likes these games. So it's very strange. But simply put, Lost Ark feels very isolated and restrictive rather than broad and expansive. Then there's obviously kind of the elephant in the room, which I think everyone has already acknowledged or is aware of or has talked about to some degree. And that elephant is the fact that Lost Ark is essentially a pay to win game. Or if I'm going to be as generous to Lost Ark as I possibly can be, uh, Lost Ark is a pay for extreme convenience game. Now, there are multiple starter packs, the most expensive of which rewards crystals, which you can also directly purchase on the in-game shop, which is very in your face, that you can exchange for huge, huge quality of life bonuses and materials uh, with which you can further progress your character in specific types of PvE and PvP content where gear isn't equalized. So it definitely, if you're trying to be as efficient as possible, you are very, very highly motivated to purchase these uh, convenience functionalities. Simply put, the way these monetization methods are implemented in Lost Ark and the degree to which free-to-play players are disadvantaged for not partaking in these pay-for-convenience functionalities, it feels very reminiscent of some sort of mobile game whose progress progression systems are centered around intentionally making uh, your progress so inconvenient that you end up sort of just saying screw it and giving in and making a couple purchases so that you don't feel like you're wasting your time by playing the game. Ultimately, I have a really hard time uh, doing chores in a game where you can pay to skip the chores and save a bunch of time. Pretty much is what it comes down to, right? And maybe the situation wouldn't be so bad and would be a bit more tolerable if the chores were a bit more fun and were engaging to do, but I just feel like I'm on a very slow moving carnival ride kind of chugging along and uh, I'm always being ushered around a very, very curated experience being explicitly told what to look at and when to do this and when to do that and where to go at all times. But anyway, guys, I've kind of rambled enough. These are the reasons why I am personally uh, not really playing Lost Ark anymore. Interestingly enough, I actually do think that Lost Ark has some really good qualities and is fun in certain regards. But for me personally, I think the bad stuff outweighs the good stuff so anyway those are my thoughts guys um thank you guys very very much for watching and giving me your time and uh as always make sure to stay safe oh and if you enjoyed the video subscribe like comment do all the stuff thank you uh yeah stay safe anyway thanks